Hi guys, this is Philip, and I'm here to show you what's new in EFX Keying and Alpha Suite 1.05. I've got some mm, changes and enhancements and one new filter for you. Okay, so just to begin, if you don't do a complete upgrade, you just uh, move the files and overwrite them from the newer package to um, your folder with uh, plugins, you will probably get this error. Oh, exactly. But the information is that you have a multiple definition of EFX Alpha Salt and Pepper filter. And that is correct because you will most likely have this. That's because in 105 we have a new Salt and Pepper filter uh, that comes in a slightly different package. Its extension is PBG instead of the PBK. So what you need to do is to make sure you delete the EFX Alpha Salt and Pepper PBK file. Delete it. All right. Let's do it. Now After Effects should start without any errors. This new file uh, replaces the old one but since it's written slightly differently, it has a different extension, so it will not get automatically overwritten if you just copy the files from the archive onto the old ones. So, what is new? Uh, well, let's start with the salt and pepper. You remember the old salt and pepper, I'll bet, when we had to determine how many neighboring pixels a symbol could a pixel have to still be removed. And since the way the operation works, you most often had to use the uh, filter a couple of times. So you duplicated it, made three, four, five uh, instances of it. That's why I actually gave you uh, the salt and pepper times five filter which automatically performed the operation five times. Uh, that was before because I didn't uh, input the iterations into uh, this filter. Now I did. It's a little embarrassed it took so long. We have iterations and now with only the alpha salt and pepper singular filter we can have up to 20 iterations. So basically uh, the times 5 filter is now obsolete. It is still provided for you um, just to be compatible with any project you might have used it on. From now on please use uh, the singular filter and just uh, use the iterations parameter. Mm, do not worry about the changed file. After Effects should recognize it as the old singular alpha salt and pepper filter so if you use these filters you just have again uh, five or more instances of the singular filter each of them will have the iterations set to one but the project should uh, look exactly the same as it did okay new stuff HSL color select filter as you can see, we've got three new parameters, hue invert, saturation invert, and lightness invert. With the previous setup, if we have a color wheel here from 0 to 360 degrees, if you wanted to select more than one color, so let's just say um, a range of colors, and let's pick red and blue, because red is on this side of the color wheel, blue is on this side of the color wheel. So it was really difficult, it was impossible to select this range of colors because you lost all the reds here and all the reds here. Now uh, we can invert this condition. So uh, if we want to select reds and blues, just dial the mm, sliders so that you lose reds you lose blues and invert. That's it. Uh, we've got this invert operation separated for all conditions so you can invert a hue threshold, a hue condition independently from saturation a threshold or luminance threshold. So now you can uh, select uh, only pixels with low saturations or 
high saturation disregarding the middle ones same goes for luminance I think that was missing so uh, now you have it for even more control good next one alpha math alpha math has got some new modes first of all you can uh, convert from the selected input here you can take its luminance uh, values and convert it to an alpha channel if you look at the alpha channel you'll see it looks like a luminance uh, channel for, from the image furthermore the threshold and multiply now work together for this mode everything below the threshold will be zeroed out and the leftovers will be multiplied so you even have a simple levels adjustment on the alpha furthermore we've got some other conversions so first one is luma to alpha but we've got more alpha math for those rendering um, color mats from 3d applications simple stuff you can make a, an alpha from red alpha from green, alpha from blue, alpha from cyan, magenta and yellow and again threshold and multiply work together to do some levels adjustment okay and now the new plugin uh, the new plugin is called alpha choke why choke? well let's assume we have a layer like this so we have an opaque area but also some mm, transparent areas so let's try to work with simple choker dial the numbers and something strange happens I don't even see it choking at all before all the partly transparent areas disappear don't know about you but this is not what I expect from the choker again matte choker apparently it works in a really similar way and dear god who designed this filter I mean we're just talking about choking what the hell are these parameters doing so here we go EFX alpha choke and first of all choke Ta-da! as simple as that right apparently a totally different algorithm from what Adobe has given us and now we can totally choke everything we want and I don't know about you but this is what I expected from a choke filter since it is a different algorithm you might encounter some strange shape changes but you know this is the only way you can cut in any shape so just deal with it first of all the choke now look at here feather we can also feather the mat how cool is that okay so basically I also give you an option to actually feather a mat without using masks or going into the full mat choker and praying that you can actually set up the parameters to work for you or the rough and edges filter so let's go here and we want to feather this feller king alpha alpha choke okay uh, so let's feather him and this is something you might encounter see if you have an alpha channel in a layer depending on where the layer came from was the alpha channel created within After Effects in this session or if the file was saved like this from a different application to a certain format very often in areas that are fully transparent you have no color data or the color data is messed up so if you feather the edges so actually bluer in the alpha channel you might uh, find some areas showing that don't have a good color data a solution to this would be to choke by exactly the amount uh, that you feathered right and there you go oops 
we don't really want that on our edges, do we? So here goes, protect edges from feathering. Boom, we've got our edges. And this is the alpha feather mode. We had to choke the mat to not see the false colors. You might not want that mm, always. So we have a different mode. Let's see here. This is alpha feather mode. It just blurs the uh, alpha channel. This is the melt mode. It actually blurs the alpha channel, the color channel, and wherever the alpha is different from the original alpha, it shows the blurred color. So now you don't have to change the dimensions of the layer and, and still have a feathered edge. Now we do see a hard edge here. That's because the melt threshold is set to 1. When you lower it, you'll actually get a fading effect between the original color data and the blurred color data. So you can reduce the ugly edge. Also, because we are creating alpha from scratch, we can encounter some problems dealing with luminosity changes on the edge. That's why the unmultiply amount, where you can change uh, the amount by which the alpha on the feathered edge is unmultiplied with the color level. Just play around and find the setting that will uh, suit you. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you in version 1.05 of the EFX King Alpha Suite. Thanks a lot.